Hi, this is Frank Prendergast, and I am here today with Kim Catherine Milan. Kim, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Now, you're here in Toronto, uh, interestingly enough, uh, looking at the life uh, and the art of a New York-based uh, artist, Basquiat. So you obviously have a very personal connection. Um, what, what is that connection and what draws you to his character and to his work? Um, well, for me, I think I was someone who also you know, lived on the street. I was someone who really came up very much on my own. I wasn't someone who was educated in, uh, in fine art institutions to become an artist. You know, He was someone who really created his own legacy, created the space for him to come up as an artist um, and was talking about these ideas of race and class and gender in his work. Um, and I really identify with that. I identify with the ways in which he cr creates a space to bring street-based work into institutions. I like to think that a lot of the work that I do is about bringing the hood into the institutions that also get to invite me there. It's interesting because uh, a lot of his work focused on heroes and he became one. Uh huh. I think it's interesting because one of the ways in which I think a lot of young young black people come out of their hoods is because they become heroes. They become canonical in some capacity, whether it is through art or music or sports. That that's some of the only avenues that people can have to kind of change their situations in life. And I think that he talked a lot about that. What does that mean for him to make himself a king? To believe that he deserved to be famous when the rest of the world was telling him that his art deserved to be on the street or that it didn't make sense or that he actually didn't have that kind of value. And I think that as a black artist, you really have to do have a really powerful sense of self to propel you to go forth and do that work, recognizing that there are a lot of barriers out there. Um, he's also embraced by another community that faces barriers, uh, the queer community. Do you think his being claimed by the queer community makes sense? I think definitely. I think that the intersections between queer people and trans people and social justice work and art has been so pronounced and so prevalent, you know. Um, in the context of like the Black Lives Matter movement right now, the creator of the Black Lives Matter hashtag is a black gay man, Darnell Moore, you know, and queer black women who have been primarily involved in the organizing that's been led in Ferguson. So I think that the, the claiming of queerness in social justice, I think those are things that are really just wrapped into each other already. How about him personally? Cause, because because he never came out as bisexual. Did he ever come out as bisexual? I don't know that he like very explicitly said that, but I think that there are lots of people who um, reflected his relationships and said that they were like that. And I think he had a variety of different kinds of relationships. And I think that that's one of the things that's difficulty. Uh, that is difficult and also beautiful about the word queer, because queer is not just about your sexual orientation, it's also about culture. And that's why I think that it's not just about whether we can verify if he's been with enough guys to call him bisexual, or if he's been with, you know, I feel like, let's not get caught up in those kinds of things, but culturally I think so much of what he's creating is very, very queer. A lot of the conversations that he's having were things that were happening within queer communities, so it definitely stands to reason he was part and parcel of that community. Can someone be queer by association? I mean, you look at Andy Warhol and Keith Haring. Because he was in that group, does that make somebody queer or not queer? I don't know that it makes someone, I don't, I don't think that you can make someone anything that they don't identify as, right. but I do think that people can participate in queer community and queer culture without necessarily having to identify that, especially considering the context that people weren't necessarily able to come out in the same way. This might be a hard question and maybe you can't answer totally. it, but do you think that he would call himself a queer person now? if? I don't know that we could ever know that. I feel yeah. like we can never, because it's like a different language and a different cultural context, so he might not ever use that word at all. And I think that that's one of the things that we end up doing um, in hindsight, right? Like the hero making that happened to him happened after him. You know, he talked about when he made his art, he was like, I was actually kind of a horrible person. I, was, I did a lot of drugs <laughs> and I was bad to a lot of people, you yeah. know? But we also recognize that the contributions that he's made have been invaluable and we have found a way of like elevating that to that status. So I think that there is a kind of culture making that happens after an art artist passes where we fill in all these other gaps you know this happened with Langston Hughes right. who was also queer and also in, in a lot of ways and he was gay but he wasn't having an open dialogue and discourse about that and that's something that we culturally and community wise have filled in a little bit of those gaps afterwards well, we, part of it I'm sure is imagination you know I know people we all yeah. put ourselves into other we people's reality and that happens that definitely happens but I do also think that um, Langston Hughes he wrote a lot of in his poems, like there was a lot of like messages Beautiful that were only people. really able to be recognized by other people who were queer. And I think similarly in Basquiat's work, there is a certain kind of resonance that feels very queer. And I think that whether or not we can palpably touch it or name it, I think that the resonation within our communities is valid and real. Well, thank you so much for yeah, being thank here. Thank you so I much really for having me. It. Yeah. it was so awesome. Such yeah. a pleasure.